What up, y'all? Welcome to a another episode of the Beef Stew Show. Stew, ninja. And uh, yeah, man, there's a war zone in the background and shit. But don't worry about that. Um, this is the uh, seventeen. I think 16, bro. 16. 16, 17, maybe. We, we out here. We'll know. We'll know when we post it. Um, Buzzing. Shout out to yeah. the starters downtown. Uh, we Niggas come... is mad saucy right now. Yeah, man. <laughs> um, That's the greatest The funny thing is, is uh, like, this may be a short episode. It's going to be short. Let's go hit hard. Because I got to go. I can tell you right now. Um <laughs> Camera looks off centered, but does it? A little bit, man. Just a little bit. To the perfectionists out there, you will be able to tell. To uh, mm. crooked ties niggas next to me, they won't be able to. Well, it's a long day. This what? This happened on my this work off time. What time is it? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's late. It's late. Like it sounds like. Anyway, um, oh, is it? Is it hunting season? Man. Are we out here? Is it? Oh uh, no, it's brownie it... seasons, bro. Deer. Yo, man, look at you, man. You're spilling stuff all over the place. You know why? Because your nose is too big. <laughs> Wait. Your nose looks like a um Don't say a, it. a chocolate boxing glove. <laughs> <laughs> That's what his nose looks like right now. Um Females filling my nose. I can't. I want to. I'll get you, man. Just, just, just relax. Just, relax. Just wash your hands intro, off, man. Intro, intro. This guy, man, he's terrible, man. <laughs> um, with a capital, capital T. Uh, he's nasty, man. He's just nasty, man. There's a lot of things I can say about him right now, and you know what? I'ma say it. I was, I was about to say I wasn't gonna say it, but like I'ma say it, man. Look at this guy, man. He walks and talks and act like a virgin. Um, How you gonna talk to him when I'm not here? You know what I'm saying? I'm not he has here. a child and he acts like a virgin. I don't even know how wow. that happens. Relax. But like, my bad. He stink. He's a my, mad stink nigga right now. Look at him. He's spilling shit all over the place. Happens. And I'm mad about it. I could wipe it up and it's all good. You decided to he wear wiped it up with water. You should have wiped it up with the brownie. I had a brownie. Uh, I I provided. This is a brownie jacket. You said brownie. Bra brownie. You said brownie. I don't know, but brawny. Like a soft pastry. No, your nose like is <laughs> a soft pastry. My face is proportionate. Mine's is too. Your nose is not proportionate it's to your proportionate. face. It's proportionate, bro. Relax. Your nose looks like. Here we go. Nah, blah, 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 blah. A double barrel shotgun. <laughs> but I was anyway. about to say, I was about to say <laughs> kids, you gotta know when to let a joke go. <laughs> but but he I, saved I, himself. I going. Yeah, he I he going. threw it. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Um let's get on to the topics and shit. Beef stew. Beef stew topics. Like I said, it's a short show. So we will we'll really tap into some shit and in and out like kinda get y'all some, some juice to go on for the week, like the hey. things that like happen. Hey. Um, I'm gonna start off with like uh, at the beginning of the week, mm -hmm. we had uh, well Donald Trump made his address to Congress. Mm. Did you get a chance to watch that speech? You know what? I watched bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I caught the piece where Mr. Trump he said we deserve to have schools that we can take our kids to, and we deserve to feel safe in our country. And when you and when you say that, you know what the funny thing is? He only talked about inner city schools, which meant basically well, he actually brought out blacks and Mexicans, mm -hmm. but he didn't say anything about Caucasians. Uh he didn't mention them in them. You know why? Because really they don't realize the problem. The problem is is Caucasian schools have always been good. Suburb suburban schools have always been good. Um, so like, there's no issue with that. Like my thing, my issues with his speech was everyone gave him credit 
And I and I talked about this earlier today on uh Steve Hood show. Steve Hood. <clears throat> Everybody gave him credit for just being for not going off the handle like he normally does. That's what he got credit for. He got credit for not being ridiculous. He got wow. credit for sticking to the teleprompter. He got credit for sounding presidential mm. when in all actuality that's what you're supposed to be, right? You're supposed you're a president, you're supposed to be president, right? right? Um he never says anything that's extraordinary. Right. Like when you go back to presidents of the past, and we can go to presidents that like live that were like presidents of our time. Mm -hmm. If you go back to Ronald Reagan, hey, Ronald Reagan actually, you can hate and love Ronald Reagan. He talked that shit. Bill Clinton, Bill Clinton talked that shit. President Barack Obama, mm. you can hate and love him too. He talked that shit. Now I skipped a little bit over the bushes, but yeah. man, they wasn't really they they but they still were better than me. Fool me once. Shame. It well, put it like this. I Just don't get fooled again. I skipped over the bushes. They always sounded presidential, even though they weren't extraordinary, they still sounded presidential. Here's the thing what happens with Donald Trump. We grade this nigga on the curve. Like, it's like if he does something good, you'd be mm -hmm. like, oh, well, but even though he's doing what he's supposed to do, he still right. gets credit as if he did something special, even when he doesn't. Lowered and to me, expectations. Boom, exactly. Lowered expectations. We have mad lowered expectations for Man, Donald Trump because he his expectations are so low mm -hmm. that when he does something that's just a little bit exceptional, though, we think it's good, man. And like during that whole speech, it was nothing but... Uh, uh, applause and clap for bullshit. Right. Do you know? Do you know? Niggas applauded him saying, we're coming to the conclusion <laughs> of Black History Month. Oh, oh. And there was a standing ovation for that. There was a standing ovation <sighs> for the fact that now Black the, History Month was ending. Now the way they're going to spin it is they just got they came they stood up and they applauded because it was Black History Month. So he mentioned Black History Month. It's like saying, "I mean, that's the way." Jeezy they coming to the stage, right? And it was ridiculous, man. So I mean, like for me, and like like I said, like I, I, I earlier I made jokes. I made a lot of jokes about the shit, like. Like, I mean, like, they were clapping as if they were, there was, like, a teleprompter with them to tell them, hey, like, someone was applause. holding, like, applause. It was, like, the fun, the fines walked into the room and shit, and it was, like, yeah. or JJ out. showed up yes. walking through the room, and it was, like, boom, boom, boom. But, like, it was nothing but the same rhetoric he's been spitting for the past two years, and he just slipped in that whole voice. Voice, voice is the new, uh, uh, basically, the new action against crime and immigrant immigration laws and shit. Okay, so you saying just his his spin and his his dream because he sells a dream. Yeah. And the thing is, but he always, when he sells his dream, he always slips in right. little bullshit that he's telling you right now that, like, basically, I'm gonna give y'all everything I'm telling y'all, y'all gonna like, because mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm, because I will never give you a plan. Mm -hmm. I will never give you a plan of what's going on. But guess what? At the same time, I'm gonna slip something in that's an executive order. So, and, and I say it real quick. So, when Obama took office in 2008, we were coming out of the second Bush regime. And I believe that any Democrat that was breathing, maybe even not breathing, because I feel like sometimes that we're in the midst of a weekend at Bernie's president. And what I and I'll explain that in a minute. But anyway, we were ready for a change. So and then Barack Obama came and then it just. It, you know, it it it's it was a coincidence, a divine adventure, maybe even, that he happened to be African American. He he happened to be a complete different look than than Trump. I'm sorry, than uh, Bush. I rather have Bush right now than Trump. But so we were ready. Now now here we have the evil twisted version, 
right? We have the people who thought that Obama was just in office going willy-nilly, that we want to have anything in there other than the brown president, that Obamacare slash the uh, Affordable Health Care Act uh, was tearing up and just destroying all this. So we want anybody in there other than a Democrat slash brown slash anybody but a Republican person. Then y'all let a guy come in who's not even Republican, who just ran as Republican. Anybody let him come in, bro. Well, you're right. You know what? You know, we're going to put this... I don't care what it is. I'm just going to go ahead and put this Trump guy in because he's not Barack Obama. Anybody put him in, though. You know, I guess what you're saying, these Russian cats, these Russian cats... Uh, I'm not even saying that. I mean, I was like, like when everybody say he got put in, like, by people... He really didn't, man. He was, was voted in. He was voted in, but I mean, but when, I, when he, you, he lost a popular vote. So, yeah, I don't know, so that's maybe what I'm not. saying. Like everybody really didn't put him in. Right. Like everybody want to point fingers at everybody for getting him in there, but when, when all actuality, he lost a popular vote. He lost a popular vote. Like by three million, everyone who didn't want him in voted against the nigga. That's so strange. Like niggas like me, like I didn't even want Hillary to be my president, but I voted Hillary to not get this nigga in. That's almost 10 million, I'm sorry, that's almost 10% of the population in the United States that voted. That's what I'm saying, like, man. Like, man, and he still man, won. Presidents are always going to be elected no matter what the no fuck you what. thought they was going to do. Yeah. We're ran by the government, and the government uses a head to speak for us. The president of the United States will always be a talking head. The whole thing is, is which what talking head they use is they use to be the best one. Hmm. Um, I have no fucking confidence in government right now. How can you? You can't. You can't really. Like I mean, even when you when you like when you think about we we live in Detroit, Michigan, and when you think about Detroit, Michigan, you think about how they drop the ball on um, a lot of shit about. With, with the voting uh, process. Mm -hmm. um, and some of our votes didn't even seem like it counted. So, like, now you just stuck it in place of, like... So now, you know? since you really can't trust your government, or, you know, you don't really agree with <laughs> your commander-in-chief, what, what are you going to do now? So the thing is, you still have to be your own commander-in-chief. You still have right. to run your own household. You still have to look yourself in the mirror and be the best you that you can be so i mean that's the only advice that that yeah. i can give and the only advice that you can really take with you that now it is one of the there's, difference it is one of the craziest thing like everybody was like 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 with the whole speech that happened people kind of shunned some of the goofy things that was going on like jeffrey borgar sessions had some issues yes. um with his Everything. Everything. <laughs> he can't, you know what I'm saying? He's, you know, he's, they, he's, he might actually get, uh, yeah, um, 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 disbarred or, they, yeah, like they might, they, they're talking, unappointed. Yeah, actually, yeah, they're talking about him stepping down. Um, but that's a whole another, another situation. Right. Um, we're here for the entertainment part, uh, because I could talk about Bessie DeVos has, who thought that, um, the historical bad colleges was a school of choice uh, when it really wasn't. It was just the fact that uh, black people just didn't have a fucking uh, choice to go. <laughs> they didn't have a you know what? Didn't have a school of choice. No, I was talking. Life. I was talking to Mrs. Walker, a uh, beautiful wife, ten years. Uh, she she said that DeVos was in the Oval, met with multiple <laughs> black presidents, and she was sitting on the couch like. No, no, no. That's not DeVos. Who was that? His, who's gonna sit on the couch? Like DeVos was DeVos was DeVos is Secretary of Education. DeVos okay. doesn't DeVos doesn't know anything. Fuck okay. DeVos. Got it. Like 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 there's no point in talking about DeVos no more right now. Right. You know why? Because she's in a power position where she's a secretary of education and she don't know shit. Right. And the fact that we can't do anything about that is ridiculous. Mm. Um But Kellyanne Conway was the one that was sitting on the couch okay, while all the HBCUs right. was uh, there. Not so, just sitting on the couch, but sitting on the couch with the come hither pose, right? Well, and her feet on her feet. Yes. Like, she looked like, um, she looked like, 
it was very disrespectful. Like she was like she was there for the help. Okay. Like, you know, like like um 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 just like 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 she cared she was she didn't care no fact that they were there. Mm. She was just sitting up on the couch like, oh, hey guys <laughs> on her phone doing what the fuck she wanted to do. Cause you know why she didn't give a shit about the black people black HBCU right um uh, presidents of those schools that was there. But you know the funny thing is, there was no reason for them dumb niggas to be there in the first place. I mean... Talk to me. Go ahead. Do your thing. Just like goes back to uh, the black university who who had the opportunity to to perform at the inauguration. Yeah. You know I mean, you know, you, ha- you, you have to take the opportunity. So if they have the opportunity to sit down with the commander-in-chief of the, Uni- of the United States, even though right now he's a joke, in my opinion, well, even though he's unqualified mm-hmm. in most people's opinion, because he's never held any office, even what, what class even, president in high that, school. What, what, did he graduate high school? I don't even no. know. Yeah, he did because I think he, he got, got his GED. He got a, I think he had a degree in something, man. I don't know. Degree in once you get your GED and once you get the inheritance from your pops and you have but, money, you can buy a degree. But but, but his his thing though, I'm his thing. They thought. See, this is what people get confused with. They think they say to themselves, oh, yeah, you know, if you get a chance, you talk to the president, we're going to go and talk to him. No, motherfucker, you're not going to get a chance to actually talk to the president. You know what's going to happen? You're there for photo ops only. Dang. And so what they did was, and they, and they talked about it afterwards, they were there to talk to this nigga, mm-hmm. but Trump had them there for a 15 minute session. Take these pictures, niggas, and get the fuck out of my office. That's what it was. Wow. Hey, here, nigger. Get here. Take these pictures, get the fuck out of my office, go talk to Pence. Yeah, we weren't. We, and we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to figure out something to do for the HBCUs, which I'm only doing. I'm only going to say we're going to do something for them because why? That's what I do. I say I got to make sure that my, my second term around that the same black people that voted for me the first time around continue to vote for me, and maybe I can get some uh, unconscious uh, sleep motherfuckers to vote for me too. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? Um, Trump is the uh, major proponent. It, this is the first candidate where I've seen where he's said things that he was going to do and he didn't, and he said things that but you he know was going to do, and he, and he has done that were crazy. But you know why? Trump is actually... The 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 presidency is being run ran as a unit right now. Okay. I don't really, Yeah. It's the not just like Trump. Committee. It's a committee for real. Like it's a white supremacy committee. Yeah. I I don't even know if I've been on my shit like this lately. I don't even know if I've I think lately I took I took a little bit off on the last few episodes where I wasn't really going hard in like this. But right now we've been we've been run by a white supremacy committee mm-hmm. and we don't even know what's going on but they're doing it to their perfection because only so many people are really watching that we getting fucked you got you got you got your people yeah. you got people that are you got this this is how it runs down to you got your people that are saying well you know <laughs> Who's ever president, they president, and then we just gotta abide by, bye, bye, by the bro. laws and shit. <laughs> then you got your other people that are like, I support him. He's gonna do what he's gonna do. Boom, boom, boom. You got a few people that are like, man, this is some bull shit. That's kind of you know? I'm, I'm really on it. I know it's some bullshit. And then you got some people that are like 100% in line. And so, with that being said, it's just, we're so separated. That they've played the game to where they have the numbers. They have the numbers and they know what the fuck is going on. And mm-hmm. basically, we're in a fucked up fucking situation right now. Right now, we are. Now, mm-hmm. hopefully, y'all can't hear the Lord of the Rings in the background. Second, um, even if they did... Who cares? Talk about that fucker. If y'all was almost about to impeach Mr. Uh, Clinton for getting it in with Mr. Mrs. Lewinsky. Man, nigga, Mr. niggas Lewinsky. get dome every day, B. Right. This guy is causing global conflict. Right now. Lying. 
I want some dome right now. Anyway, but like, yeah, but like, you know why? Well, but like I said, that's that's the thing though. They played the shit to a T to where, see, like when Clinton was president, everything was all going good, and then he had one falter. See, like when you when, when everything falters. when everything is good, three strikes. See, like Trump came in on bullshit. So like Trump could Trump you, came in on bullshit? Hell yeah. Trump, no, he didn't. What? How he didn't? Trump came in on grabbing by, oh, grabbing you mean, by the pussy. I thought what you I'm mean, saying he came in on bullshit. I thought you I thought you meant something completely different. I thought yeah, you meant the no, state no. of the, the the state of the United States. No, what I'm saying, in. like he came in on bullshit. He right. came in on bullshit. Like he was already on that shit. On like, that shit. Like like yeah. is is every everyone is expecting him to be like I said, he's being graded on the curve right now. Everyone expects him to fuck up. Right. So if he does anything good, he good. Right? You know what I mean? Like he came his in on that bullshit. Low. Had his bar is set so low. Super low. So low. See, Bill Clinton on the other hand was bar was high. Everyone felt it was good. Right. And then that one, that one mistake. Every other president had to give some prove, dome. prove himself. I mean, yeah. Um. And it just comes down to it, like what what it is is, shit. You, you got to humble yourself sometimes, right? Or you got to superly unhumble yourself. Like, there's no humbli- humbility. I don't know what the fuck. <laughs> I, hum- I don't know what she's doing. I, anyway, I kind of hum- There's nothing humble. <laughs> there's nothing humble about Mr. Trump. Uh, Donald Trump. There's nothing humble about that sucker ass nigga. Uh, mm. There's nothing humble about him because. He does what he want to do at any time when he gives a fucking feel, feel like it. Mm-hmm. And because he he's he set that tone that he can do whatever the fuck he want to do when he does it. Mm-hmm. He's not being held accountable because it's like, well, that's just him. Like I said, they're grading him on the curve. It's like, okay, when he does dumb shit, well, that's Donald Trump. Right. When he does shit like uh, one time right here. On the one, one time. time. On the one time. When he does other things, it's like, oh, well, that's Donald Trump, man. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, man. Um, like I said, it's a short episode, so we'll go into our In topics. House. Like um, the House. The topic of uh, today is uh, ratchet women. Um, we got a couple of them for you today. We have two ratchet women for you today. Two things that ratchet women have done. I don't even know which one I want to go to first. Which one you want to go to first? Talk about it. Well, if you go, I'm, I'm like, I'm cutting. Like, okay, you want to say wanna local? Go, you want to say local to last, or we can say local, local to last. Okay. Like, whatever you want to do, bro. I'm telling you right now, though. I'm turning up on both of them. Go ahead. Go. go ahead. You, you ready, man? Go ahead. Let's turn up on the non-local chicken. Okay. Local. Well, there's a viral picture going around where the uh, woman is. There's a woman. Who took a picture with her son. Mm-hmm. And in the picture, it looks as if the son is sitting on her uh, chest. Midsection. Midsection. Um, and Jordans. They have matching Jordans. They have matching Jordans. It looks like there's no clothes on, but I guess the boy got on shorts. He had shorts on. You can see the a piece of the shorts. And that's the picture. Um, what, what, I guess it just comes down to when you see the picture, you say to yourself, what are your thoughts when you see that picture? I mean, the thing is, a mother and her and her child, okay, okay. Now, we, what, we now like, like if you say, haven't seen this picture yet, yeah, this little nigga look about, he's five to six. Preschool to first grade, somewhere in there. Preschool to first grade. So preschool, kindergarten, first grade, somewhere in there. He may be the only child. He may be the only son. It doesn't matter. This woman decided to take a new picture. She was, she's obviously new to set her J's that she had on her feet. And then he has his shorts on. There's a different bond between a mother and their child, especially if that's her only child. And she made a bad decision. To publish a picture where she's nude and he has on shorts and they're in a and not just he's not sitting on her just sitting on her so it's an embrace that she's sharing with her son 
So me, sp I'm speaking to the love a mother has for her child. And then in this instance, I believe that it manifested itself in a bad decision. Now, was that was the motivation for this bad decision to try and get Instagram likes? Probably 100% correct, yes. But also a part of it was, I mean, that's her son. I Probably mean, her only keeping one. Keeping it real PG. Fuck that bitch. Let me tell you what she did. <laughs> I'm she she's a comedian. Is she a comedian? Yeah, she she thinks she's a comedian. She okay. wants to be a comedian. And that was her way of getting likes yeah. for Instagram. Right. So now it's bringing that, attention yeah. to her page. And she put her fucking grown ass son. This nigga looks about 13, 5. Uh, 13th 5. Yes. Or maybe this nigga looks, 6. He looks 13th 5. This nigga looks too tall to be sitting on her fucking chest with his dick out. He's tall for his I'm gonna tell you like he this. He has shorts on. Uh, allegedly, he has shorts on. When, it, when you, you look the at the picture, the picture, you really can't see the shorts when you look you at it. You have to look hard, but you will You see have it. to look hard at it. What the fuck I want to look at hard? Look at her, look at her listen, armpit. Listen, listen. Why do I want to look hard at a fucking picture with a nigga with a little baby and woman naked? Like, I don't want to look at that shit. That shit does not a turn on. Right. Like, that shit looks stupid. What the fuck, you got this little little grown-ass nigga on your chest uh, with J's on. Um, mm -hmm. Like, I wish the little nigga would have defecated on your chest. <laughs> and that way, this picture would have never came out. Which oh, look, goodness. Like, like, trying to get fame and shit. And she's not even funny. Like, get your sucker ass the fuck out of here. I didn't know she here. was a comedian. Yeah, she was doing that shit, man, for likes. I'm going to have to check her like, out. Yeah, she put this nigga like like it looks stupid. It looks stupid. It stink, and I hate the picture. And I why it's I different. oughta. It's different. It's different. Anyway, that's enough for that. I don't know if you got more on that, but no, I'm good on her, man. But, you All right, know. cool. Yep. Now we are going to the local. The local is crazy, bro. Because when I talk about this local one, it is very crazy. It's about candy. Okay, right? Candy? Yeah, they they were arguing about candy. That's how I initiated. Well, all I know was the ratchet was upped. Someone pulled the ratchet out on a baby. <laughs> there is a viral video going out. Of a local rapper. A local rapper in Detroit where the ratchet, the ratchet, was pulled out on a baby. Yeah. Um, what happened was a local rapper. Uh, she was doing Crazy. like a, a face a Facebook post or whatever. Facebook I don't even Facebook, give a fuck yeah. about the fucking uh, the the details, the super details of this shit. I'm gonna tell you what her happened. Her name's Rassi. Super. I don't give a fuck about her because she can't rap. I'm pretty sure. All I know was. <laughs> She had a fucking video where she was doing like a Facebook or Instagram live or whatever she was doing. And a little baby yep. little came baby up and mad. threw a gun. Uh, yeah, they were, they were arguing over candy. Candy. And a little baby got mad at her and threw a fucking gun. Now the baby looks about two years old at the most, right? I mean, or that's, maybe three. that's a stretch. No. Whatever. What? She's right at two. Maybe less than two. Mm, whatever. About two. But oh, about I don't know if it was a fake gun, real gun, whatever. She throws it was a real. gun. Yeah. Did, did they How ever many... say it was real or fake? They didn't. Okay. She throws a gun, fake or real, at the girl who's uh, doing her, 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 her Instagram live. And the girl turns around and puts the gun at her like, yo, you're not getting any candy. Right. And she checked her. <laughs> she checked the shit out of her. And so my question to you is, it's not about what's your thoughts on the shit. My question to you is, should more fucking babies be checked with the fucking mag? I'm on that ratchet shit right now, baby. <sighs> Fuck that shit. I'm on it. No, because let's talk all, about it. Be, all behavior from a baby is learned behavior. It's learned behavior. And so if like them so little that niggas, baby, that them baby. little niggas that's in Chirac right now, yep. 
that's turning up, mm -hmm. that's about to have Donald Trump bring the fucking, uh, fucking, uh, the, 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 the army artillery in that motherfucker. Right. If them little niggas was getting checked 10 to 18 years ago True. with the fucking hammer. Not the hammer, but the they hammer. were checked. If they was pulling out the tools if they had boundaries, and the ratchet. If they had boundaries, said, little niggas, and if they have been exposed, get checked with this motherfucker. To certain if you aspects, step, if you step of general, up, if you step up and you get population. in the way of this motherfucking guy, you're done. Would they not be so fucking out of control right now? They would be out of control because they would have been subjected that shit, then. to crazy, unreasonable. Uh, conditions according to you. If I pull this firearm out on your ass right now, yeah, would you shut the fuck up? First off, you wouldn't have to pull a firearm. On I'm me not talking about you, but if you was a fucking two year old baby and I said, "Here's the ratchet, nigga," <laughs> you gotta see what you go do. This is what can happen what to two, you. What, in is, what a two year old gonna do to you, bro? Well. How do you discipline? Shout out to Star Wars. How do you discipline? Like drunk as hell. How do you how do you how do you discipline a two year old? You talk to him. You give him the you voice. Him? It's a voice. voice. It's a voice you give him. Now you develop this voice. Now it's a lot of little brother. niggas in Chirac that had the voices out no. here popping them pistols it's right a lot now, of fam. People, it's a lot of young They popping young, them pistols right now. Chirac who didn't have parents. I'm just telling you, they popping them pistols right now, bro. And you know, they're doing what the best that they can with the all they have to offer. Okay. Because they weren't filled up as a young child. They weren't filled with other things to give. So they only have to offer what they were saturated in, which was the game. Hustling. You know what I mean? Violence. That was their discipline? What was the discipline, man? Like I said, some of these motherfuckers ain't coming up with that right discipline. And she checked the two-year-old with the with the hammer. And he... No. She threw the she hammer at her. It. She said, oh, wait. Well, you you, wait well, you, no, this you got shit. enough nerve to throw the gat at me. She said... And I'm going I'm to take this gat and I'm going to turn that motherfucker like, around. No, what you, you going to do? She's like, no, but you, you know what? But you know what the baby did? When she turned that hammer around to the baby, the baby walked off, didn't it? Oh, that pistol is a motherfucker, ain't it? Because the, that the baby pistol, know. That pistol is an equalizer. And how does the baby know that? Because that, the baby a, know that, that baby know that. That baby know that. A baby to knows it. the smoke is gonna go off on that hammer. Hopefully, some of that ratchet will bounce off the, the the baby, so she won't receive as much as her her mama did. Obviously, the, the baby knew the hammer was gonna go off. That smoke was gonna go and off on you, that hammer. And if you got a kid, you. I mean, I'm not saying. Let me say, if you're not in a certain spot in terms should of should we be disciplined, disciplined, disciplining babies with the hammer now? Discipline. Now, this situation was, I believe. Can we keep? Can we keep these little niggas off the street right now? Like we won't. Like Donald Trump. Donald Trump is is, is, is trying to bring the military into the streets. They're not gonna only be in Chicago. They gonna go to other places where there's high crime rates. That's Detroit too. Right. If we had, if we had, if we had them, them hammers as discipline, would our people learn? All right, man, let me get serious for a minute. I'm going to get serious. I'm going to get serious. This thing I walked away, so I'm going to take it by myself. All right, so... That situation is crazy with that little girl. Obviously, no one took time out to love that little eighteen-year-old girl, and she she a little she a little she a little piece. She actually cute. Whoever that Detroit rapper is, she cute. You know what I'm saying? But you know, shit, you can't just be out here running around with the tool, and uh, cause she got like on her Instagram page, she has like a bunch of. Um, her Instagram or Facebook, whatever the fuck that shit was I looked at. She has, like, herself holding guns and shit. She's living that life. She's living that life. Um, even if she ain't about it, it looks like it. It looks like it. So here's the deal. Who baby was that? Why was the baby throwing a fucking hammer at her? And why the fuck would you just pick it? Why, why, why? I like who the fuck are raising our kids right now? Our young adults 
to not know that you don't just pick up the fucking like like why the fuck was what the fuck even if it's a toy gun why are we giving the toy guns to the to the kids right now like it's too much going on in the world man you motherfuckers need to check yourself and why we got so many rappers why we got doctors why we got lawyers why we got why everyone want to be on that bullshit hmm this nigga coming with his little badge. But anyway. <sighs> back in. But yeah, yeah, man. Like, um, yeah, yeah. Um, is it better? What's the what's the deal, man? Like, I, I, while you was going, I was asking. Mm -hmm. Why do we have so many uh out of control teens, out of control parents? Or because you wouldn't even I don't even know if she was a parent. You don't even know. The thing is, is like, why do we have so many out of control young people that are so willing and fast to do dumb shit? Since I'm a parent, um, what I've seen is children just mirror their parents, and that's and that's just how it is. You know, you know, at the early stages. So my daughter's seven. You know, so for these first seven years, she's she's emulated a lot of things that I've done. Do you really think they all children emulate the parents? Because like yeah. when you look, if you if you look at a family, mm -hmm. there's a group of three or more, right? Right. And there's like three that do the same, and then there's four others that mm -hmm. do differently. Is let's say really let's, emulating let, their parents. Or let's say if, like, there's a, if there's or a, they're the bad seeds. If there's a if there's an older sibling, then then that younger sibling will gravitate towards that older sibling, and then. But what if the older sibling is doing what the parents doing, and just younger sibling just doesn't yeah. do? Then I mean, normally normally that younger sibling is gonna follow on because that's all they know. Okay? Like I said, man, discipline your fucking child with a hammer. Okay. Yeah. So obviously, so non-parent, parent. Um, you, what you want to, what you want to do is you, you want to, you want to try and give them the most positive environment. I don't have to tell parents that it's a natural thing. When you become a parent and, and you want to, and you want to do the best it's job. It's not natural. Can, Obviously it can be natural. You know why it's not natural? Because there's a lot of motherfuckers that are not following the guidelines you about to talk about. So it's not natural. That's all. That, that's the only reason why I stopped you. I feel you. It's not natural. I feel you. It, not, like, that, like that, you're doing a good job. And you are a citizen, Myron. We talked about that earlier. You are now the fucking, like, the Detroit mayoral race mm -hmm. will be ran on citizen Myron. It won't be ran exactly on citizen I Myron. I promise you on everything, me. that question will come across to every fucking mayor that's running. You don't even know how hot that shit about to be, bro. Detroit, was, Detroit, like, it was a citizen, show this morning. That's what I'm saying, but citizen Myron. Will be the talk because that show is bigger than what you think, and so it's like every show. time it's being brought up, it's gonna be Citizen Myron. What are you gonna do for Citizen Myron? Mm -hmm. Citizen Myron is right now in this city where there's a Detroit rapper <laughs> holding up, toting up guns, toting up guns, and pointing fucking hammers. You're right, and the ratchet. They upped the mag on a little baby. <laughs> so it was a 30 second video. The baby they upped the mag on a little baby. <laughs> listen, 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 listen. The baby they upped the, the mag on a little baby. Why should Citizen Byron stay in the city where there is juveniles like that? Uh, that will fucking take a gun mm -hmm. and point it at a fucking baby. Why the fuck should Myron, Citizen Myron, stay in that city? Okay, so at this particular moment in time, March 3rd slash 4th, 2017, um, Citizen Myron can't do it because exactly Citizen Myron has a seven-year-old. So in the next, you know what I mean, you know, 10 years, she's going to be in college. So I believe Detroit's going to make a, a, a move for the positive in these next 10 years. But Who's going to do it? I don't Why? know. How's it going to happen? It's like, it's gonna be it's 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 gonna happen. We don't know exactly how. And the thing is, what I know has to happen is every Detroiter is gonna have to take a, a look and look at themselves, and they're gonna have to make a change now, or or make an effort, I should say, right? So in my case, 
my effort is I'm not going to, you know, sell, you know, my small piece of Detroit to any and every or, you know, some title company or something like that. I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to make sure that I rent it to an individual that I vet and then I'm going to I want to maintain what my property. What if only the people that are asking to rent that home is white? Going down. It doesn't no matter, problem. Right? It doesn't okay, matter. Cool. So basically gentrification. No. It's not an issue. I, I mean, it's not like let me say this. Let me say this. If it's more if it's more Caucasian individuals who come to Detroit, it doesn't take away from the fact that Detroit is still predominantly predominantly African American. So the thing is I'm gonna tell you like this. we're trying to fight to keep a if, seat at the table. It's our table. No, no, it's not our table. You know why? If more and more white if a white I tell you like this. Where you live at, if a white guy comes and says he wants to buy that home or rent that home, guess what happens? If they're there, Detroit is no longer black. I tell you that. I mean, I'm wrong. You, okay, it's still it's still gonna be named Detroit, but the well, population is gonna be different. If the population is different, that means the culture is gonna okay, be different. So yes, that's, the culture is different. Like, yes. fuck it. We, we will run this motherfucker until the battery die. Um, cause like we, we already stop. at forty one. Damn, but we, we have forty one. Yeah, minutes said, already. we was gonna stop. But right now, like, fuck that shit. Does it matter if your your city is white or black? I mean, no. I, let me say this. Let me say let me say this. Let me say this like this. In terms of city services and in terms of city infrastructure, no, it, it doesn't matter. Well, dang, I have to take that back because you, yeah. let me I was say this. Say, you know if, why it's it prom, if it's prom, if it's you know predominantly non minority, it, the reason why it matters it may run I, better I, infrastructure and built everything this else. motherfucker, man. Fuck what they talking about. African Americans built this whole nation. Exactly. So How strong of a nation can you build on 400 years of free slave labor? Well, a very strong nation, so. I mean, you know. We okay. are in a system of white supremacy. There is, there are, I should say, there, there is, there are hurdles that we have to overcome as minorities. And when you talk about white supremacy, when I say white supremacy, the funny thing is, is like, let me break that down for like people who, who think maybe that I'm like, because like when I say white supremacy, I don't, I'm not against all white people. Because like there's white and there's Caucasian. Like that, and that's a whole different fucking uh, conversation. Because like yeah. Caucasian kind of really breaks down to European and like even fucking Irish and Italian motherfuckers yeah. fall into the Caucasian, but white... A Caucasian not necessarily a white supremacist. Exactly. Because white is white. White is that that, temp that 1%. Mm -hmm. That 1% that are rich. White supremacy is different. White supremacy comes from I am in control and you can't do shit about it. Mm -hmm. And I'm white and I say so. And I will sabotage any growth or any potential growth right. that you may have as a non-Caucasian Right. Individual. So as a white person, if you feel like you, you, like one, one, you need to, uh, like, like, the funny thing is, is like, there's a lot of black people don't, that don't really follow their background, but there's a lot of white people that don't follow their background. Right. And if you follow your background, you can find out what you are and what you need to be and what, how you should be. But like, like, and as black people, they don't do the same. But like, when it comes down to it, there's the white supremacy, and there's just white people who don't even know that they are falling that kind of category of white supremacy. White supremacy is just mm. basically we are in control, and we when we are questioned, Jeffrey Beauregard sessions, <laughs> we can lie about it. And continue to go on. And even when we lie about it, we still con continue to stay in our positions. But there are also white... And that's, a, that's what it just comes down to. There's white people that's Caucasian and there's white people that, and white people don't even know that they're in a position of control. But... My thing is this. That's why I try to... I try to explain it because I don't want people to think that 
Like I'm, I definitely when I say when I say the word white supremacy, I say that shit because I don't want anybody to forget that we are uh, completely systematically held down and right. like the 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 boot of of uh fucking uh racism is thwarted on our fucking necks. Through it is and well, like we are only we can against. only do so much. Like we can be in, in control, but that shit that control could actually be stopped at any point in time. And like I'm I know there are people out there who don't think that way and don't know better and or don't know what's going on but like i'm not mad at you i'm mad at the powers to be that allow it to be like mm -hmm. i mean like you know shit my, my 